Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Bree. I am coming down with a head cold, so I apologize for my stuffy nose. And my raspy voice. <coughs> Today is TGIF Retrospective. No, it's not TGI Fridays, the restaurant. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I've seen commercials for it, never been there. Never lived anywhere where we had one to go to. So, I don't even know what they are. As far as I'm concerned, they might just be a myth. An urban legend. We're talking about the ABC Television Network family programming block that aired in the late 80s, early 90s called TGIF. Which, depending on who you ask, stands for Thank Goodness It's Friday or Thank God It's Friday. So, TGIF started in the late 80s and ran through most of the 90s, fizzled out in the early 2000s, died, what, there were a couple of failed attempts to bring it back, and then they just sort of swept it under the rug and, you know, shifted to streaming. But, basically what it was, was a four-hour family programming block. Was it two hours or four hours? I think it was two hours. Somewhere between two to four hours in that ballpark. Um, Primetime TV, Friday nights on ABC Network, targeting families. So you had a lot of family sitcoms. You know, stuff like, not, not specifically these shows, some of these were specific to TGIF, but shows like Home Improvement, Roseanne, Full House, Boy Meets World, um, etc. Now, I know Boy Meets World was TGIF, so was Family Matters, so was Full House. Those shows were TGIF. Um, but it was shows like that. Now, you had a rotating, uh, you had the Wonder Years and other shows come and go. Um, so you did have a rotating, um, lineup. So normally how I do these retrospectives is I try to give you a, um, a loose history based on what I know, which is usually pretty limited in most cases because it's like, hey, I don't, I'm not a documentarian, but I'll give you what I do know. And then I also try to give you my personal experiences with it. So as far as how TGIF came about, I couldn't tell you. Um, why it ended, I also couldn't tell you. I would assume ratings, but that, you know, it could have been a number of things. I don't know. Maybe it just ran its course. I don't know. Maybe, you know, Survivor came on the scene and people were watching that instead. Uh, the point is, it only ran through the late 80s, mostly through the 90s, and a little bit into the early 2000s off and on. Now, in addition to just showing these family-friendly sitcoms, they also had, uh, I want to say presumably live segments, but they were probably pre-taped, but they basically had intermission segments in between episodes and at commercial breaks where different cast from the various shows would introduce the lineup. So, for example, when, was it Blossom or... Yeah, let's just say Blossom. I don't know if Blossom was TGIF, but we'll use this as an example. For example, if Blossom had been on the TGIF lineup, the, uh, I don't know how you say her name, Mia Balaic or whatever, however you say her name, the actress who played Blossom would have started the, the block off with, Hi, welcome to TGIF, I'm Blossom. And then her and her friends would do some hijinks and then, Today's episode of X, we're going to see blah, blah, blah. And then on today's episode of Y, we're going to see also blah, 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 etc., etc. And then, you know, the episode would air. And then after the episode, they would, they would come back and be like, wasn't that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Wasn't that funny or tragic or sad? Or, you know, if it was a sad episode, it would be like, um, you know, if you are a victim of abuse, call this number or, you know. It, uh, please don't do drugs, but if you know someone who is doing drugs, please call this number. Things like that. 
every once in a while, <coughs> they would do theme blocks. Whereas if it was, for example, Halloween season, they would say they 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 would all dress up like Halloween in Halloween costumes and introduce Halloween themed episodes, and they would do trick or treating stuff. Or if it was a Christmas episode, it would be Christmas themed stuff, etc. But they would also do themed episodes um, that revolved around the timing of uh, big budget uh, blockbuster movies around the time. Big big movies that they wanted everybody to go see. And so the whole episode would be themed around that. So like if it was you know promoting the release of Men in Black, everybody would be dressed up like aliens or characters from Men in Black, etc. They would do stuff like, like that as well. Or like I said, PSAs, things like that. Um, my experience with TGIF was mostly watching The Wonder Years, uh, Full House, and, uh, Family Matters, and then later Boy Meets World. Uh, other shows came and went. I, I don't remember if Blossom was TGIF or not, but Blossom was on TV at around this time. Uh, I was not watching Blossom. And I think there was another one, um, family sitcom, I think it was called, I want to say Step by Step, that may or may not have been a TGIF show that was also on around this time. I did not watch that show either. Um, a lot of times, uh, the TGIF shows would be interconnected. So you would have a char you would have someone, not a character, but an actor from one TGIF show, make an appearance in another TGIF show, sometimes in characters themselves, Urkel popping up on Family Matters, or Sabrina popping up on Boy Meets World, whatever. So that would happen from time to time. But also you would have, like, cast members from one show to another make appearances, guest appearances, but they wouldn't be playing their signature character, they'd be playing a side character or somebody from for that particular episode. So you had a lot of that going on as well. Now, I did watch the pilot with my sisters and mom and dad, Full House. And I watched week after week every episode of Full House until the finale. Never missed an episode. We would tape the ones we were going to miss. We never missed an episode of Full House. Uh, true story, I got my name Stephanie from the character Stephanie on Full House. Uh, because we're the same age, me and that little girl. Um, and she was my favorite character on the show because I was a middle child. She was a middle child. Um, we had other similarities that I don't need to get into. So, by the way, if you're going to, you know, leave a comment in the comments. My dead name was not the male form of Stephanie, by the way. So, calling me that doesn't phase me because like, that's not my name. My name is Stephanie. And you don't know what my dead name is and I'm not going to tell you. So, whatever. You're, if you do that, you're going to get blocked. You're going to get banned. So, whatever. I don't care. But anyways, uh, I did not see every episode of Family Matters. Now, the reason for that is Family Matters started out grounded, in, I don't want to say in reality, they're sitcoms. It was grounded for a sitcom. And, like, two or three seasons in, it went off the rails. By the time they introduced the... Whatever. Sci-fi chamber that turned Steve Urkel into Stefan, I was done. I was like, this is stupid. I don't want to watch anymore. Now, let's talk about Boy Meets World. I've already done a Boy Meets World retrospective, but I have to mention it. I did not see Boy Meets World... The first two seasons. I, I missed that entirely. I wasn't watching Boy Meets... I was, I was watching TGIF when Boy Meets World first aired. But I wasn't interested in that show because it was little kids. And I was older than they are. I was like... Well, no, I wasn't. I was probably the same age as them. I guess I would have been in 6th grade when they were in 6th grade. But I was like watching Power Rangers. So I wasn't interested in Boy Meets World. I discovered Boy Meets World in reruns later... And then once I did discover it, I found out that it was on TGIF. Then I started watching it, you know, new episodes as they aired, and then going forward, 
from there to the finale, I would watch every episode week after week until it until it ended. But those are the only TGIF shows that I know I watched that I can confirm were TGIF. Any other show at that time that I know was TGIF, I can tell you I didn't watch. Or it's a show I may have watched at that time, but it probably was or wasn't TGIF. I can't confirm it. Uh, what I can tell you is, you know, the other networks, NBC and CBS, had their own equivalent of TGIF that was a different title, but we didn't watch those. Because we were all about TGIF. Obviously, that's what I watched. Now... Um, I believe the NBC equivalent, whatever their teen programming block was, family programming block was, did not air on Friday nights because that air, that, I mean, the ratings were, you know, locked into TGIF. People were watching TGIF. I believe the NBC equivalent aired on Saturday mornings. This is where you got new episodes of Saved by the Bell and California Dreams and other shows like that. But don't quote me on this. I'm not 100%. That's just basically how I vaguely remember it going. I could be way off. But that's basically how I think I remember it going. Um, now, I don't remember when TGIF ended. Because by the time it did end, I had already moved on. I was no longer watching it. But I do know when I stopped watching it, and it was basically the day after the t or the day of the, the 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 Boy Meets World finale. I when Boy Meets World wrapped, I was like, "All right, that was good. I, I I followed you guys from high school, middle school, all the way through college. Now I'm good. You're gonna go start your lives, and I'm ready to move on and go start my life. I was an adult at that point, so I was like, "All right, good." Um. <laughs> Also, by that time, like I said, I was a young adult now. I was out of high school. I wasn't interested in watching, you know, family-friendly, teen-centric sitcoms. I had moved on to that 70s show. Um, I was already uh, moving on to Friends, watching shows like um, Everybody Loves Raymond, Seinfeld, stuff like that. I was already... I had already aged out of the TGIF market, target audience, by that time. So, how much longer TGIF continued after I abandoned it, I couldn't tell you. And what it was like after I left, I couldn't tell you either. Now, uh, my favorite show that ran on TGIF was obviously Boy Meets World. Um, my second favorite was, um, actually, uh, The Wonder Years. I loved that show. And then my third would have been Full House and then Family Matters. Uh, any other show that ran on TGIF, I probably didn't watch. Um, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't know if Blossom was TGIF or not, but I do know I didn't watch Blossom. And I, and I think Step by Step was TGIF, but I know I didn't watch Step by Step. So, that's one I can say with certainty I didn't watch. By that time, we had the Disney Channel. I was watching the Torkelsons, um, which I'll have to do a whole video on. I think I've already done a video on it, to tell you the truth. Can't remember. I'll have to go back and look. If not, I'll just do a part two. Why not? More Torkelsons or something like that. Because it still flabbergasts me today how the Torkelsons isn't available on Disney Plus when it was like the flagship Disney Channel show back in the early 90s. So it's like, whatever. Disney Plus is weird. It's conceivable that may have something to do, tangent, may have something to do with Brittany Murphy, who is, rest in peace, dead now. But I, that's just my, me speculating. I don't know. I don't know why the Torkelsons isn't on Disney Plus, or if it, or if maybe it is now, it wasn't when I had Disney Plus, but, you know, I don't have Disney Plus anymore because I can't afford it. Uh, 
All right, so there that is basically everything I can remember that I can say with certainty was relevant to TGIF. Uh, so I have to ask a couple of questions. Question number one, did you watch or do you remember TGIF? And if you said yes, question number two is, what shows do you remember watching and which ones were your favorites? And question number three is, when did you stop watching it, if you did? And uh, what was it like? You know, what shows made you lose interest or what did you move on to? So share your TGIF memories in the comments below. Stay cool.